Hello everyone, welcome to your spiritual liaison, one, two, three, where the truth will be told. Get your affirmations and your manifestations on through meditation. Love yourself, live your absolute best life, and please be sure to get an amazing life on every single day. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Please be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. This reading is for the sign of Virgo. So Virgo, I am actually shuffling these. I've already shuffled them anyway, but I'm going to go ahead and shuffle them on camera so you can actually see. Yeah. Okay. Goofy. <laughs> All right. So you could be calling someone a goofy, meaning that they're goofy, like you find them funny, or either you just find them like, you know, they're goofy, like um, that cartoon character, goofy that... You felt like made, they always seem to make a lot of mistakes or something. Okay, first card out is the Five of Swords, but it's in reverse. I get that you have put an ending to a lot of arguing, disagreements, things like that. Um, you've given up on a situation, decided to go ahead and walk away. Um, I get that, like that olive branch that you were thinking about extending, you decided to change your mind on it with the seven of um, swords in reverse. I get that you need to hurry up and move forward with the situation um, before that window closes, um, before that, that opportunity is no longer there. You need to go ahead and make hurry up and make a decision on something. And then you have the tower moment. So it's like if you don't hurry up and make a decision on something, it is going to cause a tower moment in your life. But I get that you are still up in a situation where you were focused on something else and it sort of distracted you from what you really need to be focusing on. Um, you were focusing on some sort of disagreement with someone, um, but I get that you have given up, like you're tired of arguing about something. So you've sort of given up on that situation. Um, and I get that you do have another option out there. It's just that you were sort of hesitant or like you need to grab that option like right now before you face this tower moment or something. Um, you could feel like you're tired of arguing or having a dis disagreement or opposing opinions um, with somebody who you look, consider a goofy, like somebody who you consider this person as like, you're just tired of going through this with them. Um, then we have the ace of, um, the ace of uh, swords, but it's in reverse. Then you have the ace of cups of right. And then you have the moon card. So this could be with somebody who you feel like um, they're sort of keeping information from you because they're immature. You could feel like they're they're really keeping sort of like you want to know the truth about something. You want to get clarity about something, but you feel like it's sort of being kept from you because they're immature with this moon card. You also feel like there's a lot of secrets with this person, like they they play a lot of games um, a lot of secrecy there. That's another reason why you could be feeling like this person is goofy because it's like, you know, you just like, okay, I'm tired of like playing these games and all the, all of these secrets and you're, you're in very immature. You need to grow up. Um, because I get that you're going to find out the truth about something anyway, Virgo. I get that you're going to get to the bottom of something, but it's like you need to take action in a situation before you face this tower moment. I get that you may still go through a tower moment, um, but you know, tower moments are like that. This could be pertaining to a Scorpio because a tower moment also puts me in that Scorpio energy, like that death energy, something ending so something new can begin. And I get that something, this could be something ending with the air sign and a fire sign. Um, but I get that you need to go ahead and grab that other opportunity by the horns before, you know, it, it before it's no longer there for you. You need to um, take advantage of the time that you have right now. Because I get you're going to face some sort of ending. And But it's going to allow you to have a new beginning in something. And it's sort of like you're also feeling like somebody's very being very petty, immature, keeping information from you, um, playing with your emotions right now, um, hiding stuff, trying to prevent you, like even mental blockages or something like that. You're facing some sort of mental blockage, but I guess you're going to find out who's behind this or the truth about a situation. You could be calling this person a goofy once you find out about it. 
This is somebody who could laugh a lot in your face, but they're keeping a lot of secrets behind your back. Um, then we have the Four of Wands, which speaks of like stability, home life. So this could be somebody who you live with or something that they're doing is affecting the stability of your life, your home life or something like that. Um, causing to throw the stability of your life off track or somebody's trying to do this um, and prevent you from having celebration and happy times or something. Then I meant to take that one out. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles, but it's in reverse. And so with the Knight of Pentacles um, in reverse, and let me pull this next card. And then we have the Knight of Cups. And so with this Knight of Pentacles and this Knight of Cups in reverse, it's like whoever this is, is heartless. Like they don't have any emotions for you. Um, and they're trying to affect your money. Like they want to sort of prevent offers coming in as well as people liking you or someone liking you. This could be somebody in your own, like I said, in your own, somebody who you live with, or this could be just somebody like the fact that they're doing all of this is affecting your home life. It's throwing like the stability of your home life off track or something. Um, but I get that somebody is in that energy where they're trying to affect your money as well as playing with your emotions or trying to get people like to not see you in a positive light or something. Um, and you could be feeling like you're, you're going to, you feel like this person is very immature and, and they're withholding secrets and withholding information that could really like help you get ahead. But I do get that you do have another option on the table. I get that you may still face a tower moment. So Virgo, don't be afraid of a tower moment. A tower moment actually is the ending of something and then it it opens the door for a new beginning. Um, but I get that this opportunity won't be on the table for long and you need to grab it while you have the chance. Um, yeah, because I get that this is this is somebody who you're tired of arguing with. You were even thinking about extending an olive branch too, but I get that you sort of changed your mind or either this person was thinking about extending an olive branch to you and they changed their mind or something like that. Um, yeah, so that's the end of this reading, Virgo. Please be sure to hit that like, share and subscribe button. I appreciate you so much for hanging out with me, sending you nothing but love. Thank you so much. All right.